Hello YouTube friends. Well, I finally got around to doing my vintage bag collection. I was just watching the videos from Essence Michelle. If you don't follow her, go check her out. But she was showing her bag collection and I thought, you know, I'm just being lazy. I've been promising this for a while. <laughs> I only did like, I got part one of my contemporary bags done and then I got my wallets and wristlet collection, but I have a lot more to show you guys. So I figure I would do now my bin of vintage bags because I need to reorganize anyhow. So I'm not going to go into huge detail on these because I think I have videos on all these anyhow if you need more detail. But I've got this old vintage coach dinky. I think this is the dinky. And um, yeah, this is really cute. It's got the little hang tag that's the suede on the back because it split a long time ago, I think so. But and I don't know the color. I think it's mahogany brown. But it's just so beautiful. I keep it stuffed. But this is the number... Let's see. This is a Costa Rica bag from 19... I think 89. And it's the number 9375. So I just love the Costa Rica bag's leather. I think it's beautiful. And this one is no exception. So love this bag. And let's see the next one. These are not all coach. I've got a lot of different bags here. Next one is my, uh, this is my Marc Jacobs Classic Q. This was the, uh, I can't remember what this one was called. They had the little Yukita and this one, I don't know. They did a re-release of this bag recently. I have a video on it, but I really like it because it's got a, shoulder strap as well not a crossbody strap but a shoulder strap but I just like to kind of carry it it's definitely a hobo style just one empty spot and I like to carry it by the top handle here but it's a really pretty color I think this color was called hazelnut and it's the uh, the really beautiful Marc Jacobs pebbled leather that just gets really squishy with time and then have this beautiful coach bag. This is the one that I got from Shop Goodwill in Hawaii and it was, I think I spent $14 on it and it looks like it was almost never used. It is just beautiful. I can't remember the name of this bag either, but I'll give you the code. This is a, let's see, another Costa Rica bag. And this is a 9058. And I believe this is from 92, but I love this bag. Just the perfect hobo style, beautiful brass hardware, just a really nice shoulder bag. Then I have my most recent vintage bag, and this was the Hamptons shoulder bag, I think. It is so cute. I just love this style. This style is really good. Prada just came out with a release. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it looks, oh, I think the moon bag. It looks so similar to this. I was really happy I got it. Now this one did come with a little watermark on the back that was not disclosed by the seller, but hey, it was 40 bucks. No feet. Love this bag. It is the perfect Y2K style and a really good shoulder bag. It holds a lot. I should have looked up these names before I started. <laughs> This is a bag that's not the Shelburne flap. I can't remember what this one was called. Mm. Anyhow, I have videos on this. Look at my vintage coach collection videos. But this is another great hobo bag. It's got so many spots. Oh, this is not a pocket at all. This fools me. But it's got a big pocket in the back. It's got a zippered section. It's got a big pocket in the front. And then a big interior with another zip pocket. This is a, let's see, this is a United States bag, 4115. So whatever that is, it's a great bag. I have used this one a lot. It's just a really nice cross between a hobo bag and a flat bag, and you can extend it to be crossbody. So it's a really handy messenger. British tan, my favorite vintage color. Okay. Now we're getting into my faves. 
beautiful British tan coach court bag. I love this style. It is so pretty. This is such a great bag. This one was, I guess I bought it from the original owner, from what I remember on eBay, but it's just, the leather is so soft. It's just worn so smooth, but it's in really great condition. Look at that beautiful leather. And it comes with a long crossbody strap, and the coach court is number, let's see, it's a 9870. Beautiful bag. And I also have it in black. This is one of my first vintage coach bags, and I will never sell this one because look at the patina of this one. I think black bags tend to patina like this where it gets kind of harder and really shiny. Look at the shine on this one. It's beautiful. There's no way I could ever buy another coach court that I love more than this one. The only problem on this one is that this side piece has gotten kind of stretched out a little bit through the years. It's fine. It's still hanging on and it's also got the leather lining and the crossbody strap beautiful bag and this has some wear it's got some little scratches but i just think this one is just one of my favorite bags in my collection the leather is thick and so shiny beautiful bag ah now i have my fake coach if you remember i got this was one of my first clothes mentor purchases and it's supposed to be the coach station bag in navy and that's how they advertised it so i bought it and i got it and the oops the creed when i got it just had the weird weird you can't see it but it has the really weird wide spacing and there were a number of things about it that i could tell it's not real so i contacted them they reviewed my case they reviewed all the pictures and agreed yes that is probably not real and they refunded me and told me go ahead and keep it so I kept it because I can't sell it because it's fake, but if I ever want a station bag, I got this one. It's okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this one is not super vintage. This is a bag that my husband bought me. It's beautiful. He bought this for me when we went on our trip to Arizona many years ago, but this was like one of my first really expensive bags that he bought me. It was really expensive it was I think $80 <laughs> at the time it seemed so expensive but it's just uh, got fabric lining this is a Victoria Leather Company bag and it's just so squishy and I love the color and I love the kind of tulip design I think it was called the tulip bag but there's no zippers or buttons on it it just kind of flaps open so you flap open the first flap and there's a pocket there look at that pebbled leather and then it's raw on the inside. And then there's a smaller pocket here, like for your phone. And then you flap open this one. And there's a small pocket here. And then a big pocket here. They don't make these anymore. I think the company went belly up. In fact, I was looking for them a little while ago. They were made in the U.S., but Victoria Leather Company. But I just love this bag. I still love it. It is so soft. And it's a perfect smallish medium size it just is really comfortable to carry I gotta start using this one again I always forget about it but that's pretty let's see what I got here oh this is my uh Rambler's Legacy my newest well yeah I think this is my newest vintage bag Coach Rambler's Legacy it is beautiful it is in perfect shape it's starting to get that patina like my Coach Court see beautiful love this in black and the hardware is perfect. Love this one. Rambler's Legacy. And I have another Rambler's Legacy. This is my first one that I got. And it is in the British tan. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Love it. I don't mind that they have little scratches on them here and there. I usually spend about 40 bucks on these vintage bags. I think the last one was 60 And this is a number... 9061 if you're looking for that i think this is from 92 1992 beautiful rambler's legacy now i've got some junies here 
I have this equestrian bag. So pretty. The color was rouge, which is kind of a rare color. And this is the other bag that I got from Clothes Mentor. And this one is legit. <laughs> but look at the burnished. Ugh. I just love that when the leather gets old like that and it has that pretty shine. These are great bags. This is a beautiful deep berry color. So pretty. And then to open them, you just pull it like this and it's just a flat bag. It's got some pen marks inside. I don't care. It's got a crossbody strap and it has some vinyl pockets inside. Really a neat bag. I am a sucker for these equestrian bags. I just love them, even though they are a little fiddly to get in and out of, but really cute. And let's see. I have another of almost the same bag. Let me see. Yeah, this one's a little bit different. This is a longer flap than this one. But it's also a Dooney Equestrian bag, vintage. Really beautiful, very similar setup. A pocket in the back, flap. And this one's a little bit more of a kind of crescent shape than that last one. This one is a shoulder bag and someone had shortened it and the seller didn't disclose that, but it, they did kind of a janky job at the bottom, but I don't mind it. You can also take off these um, straps with this little peg here and you can clip on your own straps. So I've done that before too, to make it a cross body, but really cute shoulder bag in all weather leather. Now I'm already to my last one. I have this one. This is really a cute coat shoulder bag from Y2K era. I love this one. It's just got that kind of east-west design where it's kind of long. It's got the coach fabric inside. This is a number 9861. I think this is from 2002. This is when they were starting to make them in China. It has a little keeper thing there. Good old ring. Really pretty. I like, I think my favorite part of this one, it's just a shoulder bag, but I love the buckles, how they're long. So really a nice bag. I like this one in the dark brown. Well, that is it. I got through my whole vintage collection. I don't feel like I have that many. Oh, I have this also. <laughs> I have this one hanging on my mirror because I use it so much. It's my Marc Jacobs Percy bag. Crossbody. I love this bag. The Marc Jacobs leather. I have a little Yukita hanging around somewhere too I, in dark brown. But yeah. Oh, I got a gum wrapper in there. Nice. But just this one has just the black laning. But it's a fantastic bag. I travel with this one because it lays so flat in the suitcase. And then you just grab and go and it's got such a nice strap to it. So... Yeah, this is another of my faves. Well, I hope you like this video. I can't believe I finished it so quickly. I feel almost like I need to go shopping for some more vintage bags. I don't have as many as I, th <laughs> as I thought I did. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.